Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Tonight, when the Jews gather to celebrate supper, the children ask their parents, what makes this night special than all other nights? What makes this day special than the other days? And the mother and the father tell the story of the liberation of the Israelites from the slavery in Egypt. But we are not Jews. We are Christians. And yet this night is also different from the other nights. This Mass is different from other Masses. Later on, during the consecration, you will not hear the bell. Later on, after communion, there will be no final blessing. There will be a procession instead. We do not do that except on Holy Thursday evening. So what makes this day, what makes this night, what makes this evening unique? than other evenings. On Holy Thursday evening, we celebrate a great love story. In fact, to put it romantically and poetically, this is the greatest love story you can ever hear. This is greater than Romeo and Juliet. This is greater than Florante and Laura. This is greater than Ariana and Ricardo. This is greater than all love stories you have watched and you have read and you have heard. What makes a love story a love story? What makes it interesting? What makes it memorable? What makes the love story of Holy Thursday more memorable than other love stories is this. This story is true. Cardo is fiction. Romeo and Juliet is a creation of Shakespeare. Florante at Laura is a creation of Francisco Baltasar. The story of the Last Supper is true. It is not fiction. It is not a legend. It is not a fairy tale like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The story of the First Eucharist is true. It really happened. That is why it is the greatest love story you can ever listen to. And even if it happened 2,000 years ago, people still love to listen to the story. Why? Because it is true. What makes a love story even more interesting are obstacles between the lovers. Pag-ibig na makapangyarihan, kapag pumasok sa puso ni Numan, hahamakin ng lahat, makamit ka lamang. What makes a love story interesting is the obstacle. What makes the love story interesting are the problems that lovers encounter. What makes us interested in Ariane and Cardo? We know Cardo will not be killed 
But are we not afraid that Ariana might be killed when the government attacks the vendetta? Then you understand that what sustains a love story are twists, problems, obstacles, crisis moments. And every time you pass through that crisis, you want to clap and say, Yes! The story of the first Eucharist is a love story that is true. But it also carried many obstacles. Jesus had to say goodbye. And goodbye is the word that lovers are afraid of. Because lovers don't like to be separated from one another. Goodbye is a word that lovers don't like to hear. And Jesus, the lover, had to say goodbye. So how did he solve it? He said goodbye, but he stayed present. And that mystery is called real presence. Jesus has died. Jesus has risen. Jesus has ascended to heaven. But in spite of the goodbye that he had to say, as a true lover in a beautiful love story, Jesus makes sure that his goodbye does not separate us from him. Another obstacle that lovers encounter is they want to give themselves to the lover. The loved one and the beloved and the lover want to give themselves. And Jesus said earlier, there is no greater love than to die for your loved one. So, after I die, how more dyings do I need to give so that I can show my love? And Jesus hurdled the obstacle because this afternoon, as in every Mass, Jesus will offer His life. Jesus will offer His life because He loves us. The loved one wants to be loved and the beloved wants to give. And in this love story in the upper room at the Last Supper, there is a dilemma again. How can I stay present with my loved one? And Jesus washed the feet of the apostles and said, As I have done, so you must do. So what makes a love story interesting is obstacle after obstacle and obstacle overcome every time there is an obstruction for love. That is why the love story of Chrysostom Ibarra and Maria Clara interests us because Padre Damaso, who was an obstacle, did not prove to be impossible to hurdle. But the last reason, my dear brothers and sisters, why the story of the first Eucharist is the greatest love story ever told is this. In the love story, there is only the lover and the beloved. In the love story of the Last Supper, there is only the story of Jesus and the loved one is you. That is why it is beautiful because it is not their story. It is not his story. It is my story. It is the story of God's love for me. That is why it is the most beautiful. 
The story of the Eucharist is true. That is why it is beautiful. The story of the Eucharist is all hurdles, all obstacles hurdled. That is why it is romantic. The story of the Eucharist is about Jesus and you. That is why it is the greatest love story of all. So when you read the pages of our storybook called the Eucharist, do not look at Jesus alone. Do not look at the apostles as they are. Look at Jesus and let Jesus look at you. Look with the eyes of Jesus. Love with the love of Jesus. Think with the thought of Jesus. Because in the Eucharist, the loved one and the beloved are one. What makes this night special, extraordinary than all our evenings? It is the greatest love story ever seen by mankind. Tonight, let us whisper to the Lord and say, Thank you, Lord, for loving me. God is a lover of stories. And when He wants to show His love, He gives us beautiful stories. And the story of Holy Thursday is the greatest story of love humanity has ever seen.